handshake with a girl or not, because back in my country, some people accept it, some people don't. So it's very important for me to know how to approach a person. Um, after one year and two months in Netherlands, now I know a lot, but of course not because someone taught me, because I have been doing the initiative of going out and establish some uh, work, and of course with some projects, for example, the project of humanity was very be uh, beneficial for us because they made a project called Body Project. They assigned a Dutch person or at least a student uh, within the university. Uh, it was very, very important for us. Uh, this person has taught us a lot. Uh, he was telling us how to act, how to establish friendship, as I told you, how to approach a person. And he was telling us uh, a bit about the culture uh, in, uh, in the community and even uh, in Netherlands. So it was very beneficial for us. But as I mentioned in the video, when you came to a place where you don't know anyone, the first step to start over your life is to establish contacts and, of course, friendships. Uh, but this thing will never be able to be done uh, without, of course, like cultural lessons, without lingual lessons. So it's very important, very important, knowing the language and knowing the culture of the country so you can blend in and be very productive within the society. Yeah. Would you like to add anything? Um, I think if I've got the right Michael? Yeah. Or uh, Lucy or Maika? Yeah, well, that is just a point I, I made. It is very... Language is not in us. It's important. Especially if you don't know English. Or... I, for myself, I, I come from Brazil. So I speak Portuguese, nobody in the Netherlands spoke Portuguese, so I had to learn Dutch. But feeling, the feeling that you are part of having work or enough money or people you can go out with if you want, people who help you with your homework or the children, well, there's not one thing. There's, there's a lot of things that you have to make. That that is, if you don't have a bike, you have a bike. But if you don't know how to ride a bike, well, then you have to teach how to ride a bike. And after that, you have to go with the bike. And that's every and every family and every person alone has different questions. You have to listen, and it's difficult for them to tell if they don't the language. But that is not only that. You, said, yeah, you have to like each other and go with each other, and and you have. And it's not only to give. You have to accept also. If I go and I bring a chair, I have to know that I have to stay for dinner because they have to do something back. Would you like to add anything with that? Well, you just want to disagree with we'll Michael. Now, it's, it's funny that you talk about how to greet each other because realize that I have the same problem. There are two guys from Syria I really know well at this moment, but before we found a comfortable way to greet each other, it took some time. And I'm a bit of a hugger, and one of the two is now giving me a hand first, and then a hug, and I said, hey, hello, I know you for a year or two months. What happens? Yeah, I always used to first give a hand and then a hug. I said, hey, it's okay with you, as long as I can get rid of my hug. <laughs> but what I mean with this is just be honest to each other. I mean, okay, I live in this country, and you come in here, but I don't really care. It's for me, just as important as for you to know how we greet each other. And when you talk about sometimes the most little things, <coughs> what is important, then we really get to know each other quickly. Just ask, just say, just say, oh, say, sorry, I did something you don't like. Um, what is it? Uh, we had a black day, we too, because we gave a language lesson and nobody came. And then, yeah, laugh. But we were sitting there with the coffee and the tea and the cookies and the chips and the whatever for us. We had a great afternoon together. But um, in, the, in the first time I thought, oh, those 
those pitiful refugees. We can't blame them, uh, they have a hard time. But now we said, no, we're just angry. I mean, they all have apps. If you can't come, just give an app and we know you can't come. Whatever reason, you don't really have to explain, it's voluntary. So, be honest, let's treat each other like we're all people, because we are all people. We are born in different countries, but when you really get to know each other, you're in fact all the same. Thank you very much. Thank you all. Thank you. Um, we're now going to give an opportunity for all of you to ask some questions of the different people who've been given the presentations. Because we've got a limited amount of space here, I'm going to ask you to go. You can stay for the moment. Um, and then I'll ask you to come back in if we need, need to have a representative.